interview with the owner of this lumber yard destroyed in a massive fire. And the fire burned several hours this morning and now that owner is out millions of dollars of very expensive wood. Firefighters are still on scene at the M&M Lumber Company on Riley Road near Pearland. He spoke only to our new Rasta about the impact this fire is having on his business. Anusha. Sarah, that's right. That business owner was here on scene talking to fire investigators for several hours. Pearland police have this main street blocked off, the one that leads into the area there where that warehouse is located. And at this hour, you can see there's still a lot of heavy smoke here in this area. The business owner says he does have insurance that covers the building, but not for the $2 million worth of inventory. For more than 10 hours, firefighters from half a dozen fire departments struggled to get this inferno under control. It used to be a lumber warehouse before it went up in flames the night before. It was a lot of wood. There was always the chance of a, a fire. We had fire extinguishers and everything, but at midnight, I don't, I don't know what happened. This man named Randy Blanchard tells us he owns the business. It's called M&M Lumber Company, and Randy says it's a 20,000 square foot warehouse with an expensive inventory of antique and reclaimed wood. A couple million dollars worth of inventory was lost, probably. The fire broke out at Randy's business just before midnight on Tuesday. Pearland firefighters were the first to get here, but they had to call in extra crews because the fire was so intense. Just sick in my gut. Also at issue, the lack of water hydrants near this property. Tankers drove in and out of the area, pumping and moving water onto the scene. Randy says he had no idea he was losing everything until it was gone. We got a call from a friend of ours at church this morning, saw it on the news. We, uh, my guys had tried to call at midnight, but my phone was in the office. The question now is how? I, I really have no idea until I get there what, what happened. I, I, my guess would be something happened electrically. And to be clear, fire investigators have not yet confirmed the cause of the fire. Reporting live in South Harris County, Anusha Rasta, KPRC Channel 2 News.